The other day I had a conversation with somebody that I've interviewed before about rebounding. The conversation was a little heated, but um, it was on Instagram, so if you got a chance to check it out, well, this is Jillian, but uh, if you got a chance to check it out, it was on there. It was about the Bellicon versus the Seller Sizer. Now, I am definitely team Seller Sizer. I've had a Bellicon, so those of you who are on here and want to debate me about, you know, Bellicon versus Seller Sizer, I've had both. I had the Bellicon for a very long time. Uh, maybe not quite 10 years and nobody was using it anymore so I eventually got rid of it and in 2014 I got my seller sizer you probably see the bar behind me and I'll show a little bit of a video of me on it nothing fancy here I just did a little bit of health balance I think I did a little bit more of an aggressive health balance at one point here uh, I started doing a, a jog and I might have broke out into you know quote sprint uh, which you know for me isn't probably as fast as some other people but I love this thing and you know you can do it uh, you know while, while the TV's on you can watch your favorite program or whatever it's just a lot of fun the seller sizer was an amazing thing I had some issues with the Bellicon namely I went through the mat now yes I was a little heavier at the time but that is no excuse when I called them they said that that was the first time that had ever happened I don't know if it was because they didn't even want the mat back from me which I thought was kind of odd I thought they might want to actually study what what happened but they didn't I bought them out and then I got the new mat and I bought them out on that twice which means like I I landed and I actually the the mat and I hit the ground which wasn't pleasant. So if I wasn't such a robust character, I don't think I would have fared so well. I actually hit so hard that I, uh, like I apparently I, uh, like the, the ceiling cracked in the apartment below me. So anyways, I, it brings me back to this book right here, the Looking Good, Feeling Great book. It's a book that was written in, I believe, 1982, 1984, something about, uh, some, somewhere along those lines, 1982. It's a great book. If you can find it, it was cheap. I got it, well, this was $1.50, but I think I got it for like $6 or something like that. Uh, you can get it on the Amazon. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. Uh, I, I believe when I got that, there wasn't too many copies left, but it really doesn't matter. And what it talks about is uh, 15 minutes a day to a new you, an easy, fun way to tone your uh, figure, improve health, develop total fitness. She goes into quite a bit in this book. Um, and so it kind of brought me back to what uh, this other person that and I was talking about, which is the idea of draining the lymphatic system, because I don't really quite believe that we have an immune system. I think it's your digestive system and your um, uh, um, your lymphatic system that is basically your quote immune system. I think that's all we have to go on, plus all the other detoxification organs like the you know the kidneys and the liver and blah blah blah. You know, like not that I'm discounting them at all, because when the the liver is really taxed, it starts dumping into the lymphatic system more, and the lymphatic system can't handle it, and that's when you get a lot of edema, swelling, all the kind of you know not good stuff, but you know stuff, and. When you read this, it's it's pretty simple how easy it is and what it does for the cells and it allows the cells to just dump out uh, all the toxins in them as like as you go from a negative g-force basically to a positive g-force it opens up the cells and they start dumping out every any kind of toxins that they have in them and it starts working its way through the lymphatic system the lymphatic system starts draining out and that was the one thing that i noticed again here's the book i'll link it down below that was the one thing that i noticed the most about switching over from the bellicon to the seller sizer was the fact that the first time I used the seller sizer, now keep in mind, I was using my Bellicon about 20 to 30 minutes a day. I could only do 20 minutes on the seller sizer, and it's the one actually behind me. I've had it for 10 years now. I've replaced one spring on it, and when you buy it, they give you two springs, and I have one of the springs left. I could not believe how much gunk, I'm probably hitting my microphone here, gunk came out of my neck and in every, I was smelling so terrible, it was ridiculous. 
and I thought I had cleaned out my lymphatic system and I had not, you know, so the Bellicon is great for if you want to like elongate the spine so much better for uh, you than the uh, cellar sizer is. Now I have not, well, I briefly tried the jump sport. It was at a department store. They had like the lower level. I think it's like the 350 or something like that at the uh, place that I was at. And it was, it was, it was great. I didn't have enough time on it to see if it, it was comparable uh, to the to the Bellicon or not. So I really didn't uh, judge it based on that. Now I wouldn't mind actually having both a Jump Sport and a Bellicon just to see maybe if I like it now, maybe something's different on it. When I did have the Bellicon, I had uh, the Ultra or whatever the highest level uh, bungees were because I was quite heavy at the time, much heavier than I am now. And that was um, the highest bungees that you could get. I don't really 100% want to compare the two here. This really isn't uh, like uh, like one versus the other. I am definitely team seller sizer 100% just because I think it's uh, good for like muscle building. You know, like I, you can see like I still have, um, you know, some of the muscle that I had back, back in my, my lifting days. Uh, and I think it's large in part because of the seller sizer and what the seller sizer does for you and the rebound that you get on the seller sizer. It has not stopped raining here all day. I don't know if you can hear that in this microphone, probably not. Uh, it actually sounds like hail. Um, so, it, it, you know, it really depends. And it's kind of like, you know, would you rather go running on a mattress or out on like a hard surface? For me, I would rather go running on a hard surface. That's just uh, my preference. And that is, I think, the preference of a lot of people. But either way, it's all about draining the lymphatic system and getting that cleaned out. And once you start really getting that cleaned out, you start noticing that the edema and everything else in the body starts kind of going down. Now, I definitely have some definitely on my torso still. It's definitely a long process for me anyway. I know a lot of people, like I've lost 175 pounds, but a lot of people get all their weight off a little faster than I have. I don't know. I, I still carry a large amount of muscle mass with me. I haven't gone back to the gym since my surgery, but I have been really working on posture quite a bit and um, making sure that that is a huge part of my life to make sure that everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. And that way, because when you are on a, a seller size or, or on a Bellicon or any kind of rebounder that you really like, if you are not like in, in really good alignment, you're not gonna drain as good as, as you would like. And I have found that out. Since I started uh, really watching my posture, I cannot believe how much more dry, I guess, my skin is. Like I have not had as much water weight. I don't have pictures of that because I actually didn't expect to take this, make this video. Either way, I would say if you're watching this video, you watched it this far, Try to find this book, maybe even before you get, you know, like a seller sizer. I will link the seller sizer down below. Here's the book. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I kind of got like this drama lighting going on. It's definitely worth a read. I, you know, it kind of got boring after about the first, I don't know, up until, you know, page, I, I don't know. But um, it, it's very informative. But just get yourself onto a rebounder, any rebounder. Now, I will warn you that I have had some really terrible luck with cheap rebounders. I don't recommend them at all. I think the lowest level that I would go is an urban rebounder. And quite honestly, I think if you can stretch it to get a jump sport, I think you might be better off uh, getting the jump sport. I 100% will always have a seller sizer. I will never have anything but a seller sizer unless there's, you know, for some unforeseeable reason that I couldn't get a seller sizer if this were to break. I know there's some people who have had their seller sizer for like 30 years or something like that. So it's not unlikely. And it's the best exercise that I have found completely, if you do it correctly. That's the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is if you do it correctly, it really works for you. If you try to use momentum, I'm trying to keep my posture in better alignment here. If you, if you do the work on the seller sizer or any rebounder, you will get the benefit. If you try to use 
some kind of momentum, you are not gonna get as much benefit, if any benefit at all. It's no different than if you went to the gym and you're just trying weight throwing, you know, like Mike Mentor, weight throwing, no, don't do weight throwing, you know, like he used to say that, don't do weight throwing, do weight lifting. And it's the same on the seller sizer. Do as much of the work as you can. You know, like e there's so, like even I kind of like replicated doing jump rope on that on that video that you saw. Um, even doing like a jump rope, a ju jump rope is more effort on a seller sizer or any rebounder than it is on the ground, but actually there's less stress on your joints. So if you're gonna want, even if you just want to jump rope, there's less stress on your joints, but you're actually burning like almost two to four times more calories than you are if you are on just the cement, but on the cement, you actually have a lot more wear and tear on your joints. So which one would you rather have, right? It's a win-win situation. And she talks about in this book that you can, basically form yourself however you want to using different exercises and it'll it'll kind of eat away at, at just the inflammation which is you know the inflammation is the water retention and the fat is basically inflammation it, it, that's all really it, it is and it will start eroding that away a lot of people talk about the nasa study um i I've linked it quite a few times in a, quite a few of my videos. At the end of this video, I'll link a playlist of the different uh, rebounder videos that I've made over the years. And you know, you can, you can watch it. Now, like while my physique might not have changed as much as I would like, I can definitely see a massive difference in my face since I started this channel and different uh, areas of the body. I cannot believe how much it's raining. Um, in different areas of the body, you know. But the NASA study basically said, that what they did was they took uh, a treadmill and they had somebody walk, they had somebody run, they had somebody jog, and then they put them on a, a trampoline as well. It was a spring trampoline. It was a large like Olympic sized trampoline. And what they did was they te uh, tested like the VO2 max. They tested the VO2 max. And what the VO2 max re revealed was basically mathematically, rebounding burns 11 times more calories than walking, six, I think it's six times more calories than jogging and three times more calories than running. And supposedly it, it de-ages you, I, I don't know. You know, like if you watch the Olympics, a lot of those runners, they do kind of look a little bit older than they actually are. So that is something to consider. Uh, when you are looking into getting a rebounder, the NASA study was done quite a while ago. Uh, they do put a caveat on, on one of their sites that it, does, it's, that it doesn't reflect, you know, they didn't use a mini, mini trampoline. They still use a trampoline, right? It's still the basic uh, concept. So I don't know why they really feel the need to point that out. Maybe it's because of the, you know, many rebounders were pointing out that study and they didn't want to be liable for something. I don't know. It's NASA, right? It's the studies done. There's been a lot more studies done on uh, rebounders. I haven't really looked into a lot of them just because I've been my own study and just kind of playing around with different uh, modalities on the rebounder. And that, that really is it. The last thing that I will point out is the reason I started doing this was not for the lymphatic. I was reading a Mike Menzer book and he talked about how he had a mini trampoline at his uh, gym or he brought a mini trampoline into his gym and he wanted to test whether or not you could lift more if you jumped on a, a mini trampoline in between sets and I actually did this myself and I found that yes it's true you can actually recover faster on a rebound so if you're not really worried about uh, you know the lymphatic system but you want to recover more from a weightlifting uh, you know excursion it actually helped a lot with that I was kind of surprised at how much uh, faster my recovery was when I started using a trampoline. And this was back, back some years now, uh, quite a few years now, back in the 2000s, you know, whatever, whatever year that, you know, whatever year within the 2000s that it was. And I didn't have any clue what the lymphatic system was at the time. I didn't have any clue really what any of this stuff was at the time. Uh, but I did have a clue that it helped me with my recovery and it helped quite a bit. I didn't bring it to the gym. I kind of wish I would have had a chance to do that, uh, to do it in between sets, but you know, maybe try it out. Maybe uh, you'll have the opportunity to do that. Like the seller size, you can actually throw it in um, 
uh, uh, I have it in here. It's a, a little case for it and you can bring it around. Maybe the gym will let you do that. I don't know. Some gyms are funny about that kind of stuff because of liability issues, but I always went to more of a hardcore gym where, uh, you know, just kind of anything went, uh, but I still never uh, remember to bring it in there. But yes, anyways, I think that's all I have to say on this rainy, crazy uh, night. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this, but the wind and the rain, I mean, it's crazy. Anyways, like I said earlier in the video, I do have a link for the seller sizer down below. Go check it out. It's not the cheapest thing in the world, but for mine has lasted for 10 years. If you really do the math on it, it's not that expensive either. And it should, should, I'm not a doctor at all. I don't play one on TV. Uh, but it should in theory help you with your medical bills because you shouldn't have as many because you'll be healthier and That is my video. Anyway, uh, like I said 30 40 times now comments questions down below because I've been on these things for quite a few years Leave them down there uh, Like subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace